I think we'll be all right without donations. Don't worry, just <laughs> click the damn like button and share. That will do. Watch, comment, share. Sorry about that, it's a bad joke. Yeah, if you're expecting something great from this video, don't. Do not attempt any of the stunts you're about to see. Just when all hopes seem lost, message of a new to an unknown old great Freaking Widow Maker here, boys, coming to you live all the way from the car, and the car is in Kingston, Ontario. We are just about to pick up the U-Haul and a trailer to go on our road trip. Anyhow, it's that time of day, and it's that time in the video where Bull of the Woods and I need to let you know that if you believe in grain bins, the PayPal will be in the description box below. I'm just joking. I got the cash right here. <laughs> uh, you think that's a lot? Well, what do you got? What, what did you get? I got 500. I didn't get any of this been in my pocket <laughs> too much. I think there's five grand here. <laughs> you got your gangster roll in an envelope. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad way to do, oh, bad way to do your banking. <laughs> yeah. All right, so here we are at U-Haul. You can see it has a quarter tank of gas, 54474 miles. And she's in good shape. Why is it every time my dad and I rent a moving truck there has to be a tornado? It's like four in the afternoon. The road was sunny a minute ago, but look at the sky. Oh my God, look at this. It is not a tornado. It's a blizzard. This sucks. Holy shit, we have to leave in a few hours to go across the country. They build jail cells around their catalytic converters. Pretty cool, pretty cool. They gave me the wrong truck. I was supposed to have a trailer too. If you thought we were joking about going to get a silo, you were wrong. We are going to get a silo. And we're gonna take it apart and fit it into this tiny little truck. We have a generator, we have impacts, we have scaffolds, ladders, ratchets, all that. Everything we could possibly need, we hope. You never really know until you get there, but we're going to do it anyway. No matter what, she's coming down and coming home. Right? That's right. <laughs> Takes us till Saturday night. That's right. Alright guys, it's 4 o'clock in the morning and we are off. Check this car out boys. The old Dukes of Hazard. actually. It's a new Dukes of Hazard. But that's a wrap. Isn't that cool? And he has the Confederate flag on the roof, right on. I'm glad he didn't chip it out and move it out. Anyhow, there you go. We're in Finch, Ontario, or somewhere around Cornwall. Look at this shot. We are driving across the bridge somewhere in Quebec, heading towards America, which we think is over there on the other side of the water. Hopefully we're not lost and heading your way. <laughs> Anyhow, we are on the highway, so I'll talk to you soon. Quebec 132 West for one and a half kilometers. This is quite the bridge. Holy. Yeah, so I think we are near Valleyfield, Quebec. It's pretty neat. What the hell are those circles in the water? <laughs> For sea gulls to land on them, which I think is. 600 meters, turn left onto Quebec 202 West. Signs for Havelock. Ah, the guy in front of us blew a hose, lost all of his fluid, and then stepped on the gas. I was hoping to catch him breaking down, but I don't think we're going to be able to because uh, we have to turn left pretty soon. Well, we were going to take the U-Haul through Park Safari and get some rhinoceros shots, <laughs> but looks like Park Safari is closed, so we're going to drive right through the gate. Not. Got no way to act like a jackass today, so I thought I'd sit beside a monkey. <laughs> yeah, look at this. It opens on May 15th, so we just missed it. We probably don't have time today anyway, but sometimes when opportunity knocks, you have to answer the door. All right, my American friends, I don't want you to get the wrong idea because this is actually a highway, but it's not a good representation of a Canadian highway, just a Quebec one. Smart. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Oh my God. Okay, gotta let you go. All right, we are somewhere near Montreal on a big-ass bridge and there's a swing bridge over there and the road is really, really narrow. <laughs> a lot of fun to drive a U-Haul down. You definitely do not want to miss your turn here. 
That is for sure. <laughs> or you will be, well, if you make it through the water, I think you'll be in the States. Be in Vermont. In Vermont, <laughs> yeah. He's driving in reverse and he's doing a really, really good job. Really good job. No, he's not. He's actually being towed. I wish we could get behind him, but we can't. Oh, look at the cat dump trucks. Those are nice. There he is. <laughs> yeah, we were following him for a bit. We are in Quebec and it must be a lot warmer here because they're growing uh, vineyards or what? Vineyards. Vineyards. They're growing those in orchards everywhere. And you can see that their uh, buds are coming out on their trees already. Anyhow, there's a lot of crazy turns here like this one. This trip has just been incredible for scenery. The mountains and the bridges and water and vineyards and orchards. It's just been amazing. I think we're in Knowlton, Quebec right now. We are almost where we're heading off to. I just wanted to give you one more shot of those mountains. That's not something we really get to see very much where we are. We do have mountains, but these are magnificent. We're going up Foster Mountain on Chemin de Glen Road. Holy shit, this is steep. Whoa! Chemin de Glen. We are totally surrounded by mountains right now. I've never seen anything like this. It doesn't even stink like a normal uh, lake or whatever would. Wow, this is really cool. Even these rocks are neat. All right, so here we are. We finally made it. We were really, really late because the GPS was really, really wrong. Anyhow, here we go. As you can see, I'll give you a quick shot inside and then we gotta hustle. All right, so, as you can see, the acoustics in here are amazing. <laughs> yeah, check that out. I can't freaking wait to get this home. All right, so I'm in the back of the U-Haul. We bit off way more than we can chew. It's really windy, too windy to get up there on the roof. So uh, we're going with plan B. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen here, but you'll see. This really did not go as planned while well, it did, but plan C, wave for the camera! <laughs> Anyhow, we have no time to waste whatsoever, so I have to let you go. We almost have her down. She's not going to beat us, that's for sure, but it has not been easy. As you can see, the sun is going down, the pieces are on the ground. We've almost accomplished Mission Impossible. The roof is almost off. And uh, yeah, sorry I'm shaking, my arms are burnt from undoing thousands of bolts. Alright, we're back, we made it home safe, mission accomplished for Mission Impossible, what you see behind me. That is a 20 foot U-Haul truck with a 21 foot wide, 20 foot tall steel silo inside it. Yeah, we did it. Anyhow, after driving and working for 24 hours straight, I slept for 5 hours. And I now have to unload this U-Haul and take it back to Kingston and return it. Not fun. Anyhow, I'm going to come back and make this video for you. So I hope you enjoy it. I'm really sorry that uh, we didn't get more footage of demolition, but it was absolutely nuts. So she doesn't look like much, but that's because it's all stackable parts. There is a lot of parts and a lot of weight in there. Anyhow, we did it. You can see I got a pretty cool ladder guard, ladder cage, whatever you want to call it. I have a bunch of triangular roof panels. I have a whirly gig, I'm not keeping that. I have a 200 pound galvanized steel door frame. And I'm not joking, that thing's about 200 pounds without the door, it's crazy. Anyhow, if you come over here, you can see that these are all four by eight sections, four feet by eight feet. And there's a lot of them. There's definitely a lot of them. That's what they look like. I'm gonna power wash these and paint them and 
Obviously, I'm going to have to patch this because uh, there was a blower there to blow air into the silo and dry grains. There's my peak. It's pretty cool. I have a hatch door for it. And uh, yeah, there's not much else to see for it. Ugh. Oh my god, my legs. I can barely walk today. That was a lot of work. Anyhow, yeah, there's not a lot to see uh, except for about 100 pounds of bolts. Yeah, we didn't even get to save them all. We saved probably like 95% of them. But, you know, you can't win everything. We we're really under pressure. I'm dead tired. I slept like 11 hours in the last two to three days. 24 hours straight, 700 miles, 1100 kilometers of Hello? Hey. I did. You're on video right now. I'm vlogging in the field. I just wanted to know if uh, you needed firewood tonight. Anyhow, you gotta win some and lose some sometimes. And I guess we lost some bolts. But I saved a fortune. I got my silo and I'm very happy about it. So, uh, yeah. Um... There's not a lot to say about that other than I can't wait to see what this thing gets turned into. So comment, rate, subscribe, share the damn video, and get ready to see my stunt dummy silo studio. Villains? I say to you now, knock off all that evil! <laughs>